Ready to our first ever partner spotlight. Thanks for remembering to hit the record button because I have a note up here to do that. <laughs> I'm Gina Horner, the Do Donate Life for America Youth Education Chair, and we've, we're trying something new this summer. I'd like to introduce everybody, Lauren Foreman. She is with the Chris Klug Foundation, and she's going to share with you guys some information about resources used in the classroom, either virtually or in person, but mostly virtually. And she just wants to give you a run through of everything that she's got for you that you guys can use. And we'll have a Q&A with her afterwards. So I'm going to leave it to Lauren. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm Lauren, the executive director of the Chris Klug Foundation, and we have had this curriculum since 2011. Well, a little bit about the foundation, if you don't know, we're based out of um, Aspen, Colorado. We work nationwide. Chris is a three-time Olympic snowboarder who, between the Olympics, found out that he needed, he had PSD, needed a liver transplant, and um, just 18 months before the Salt Lake Games, he had a liver transplant, returned, bounced back, back on the mountain four weeks after transplant, and then brought us home at the, um, brought us home a medal at the Salt Lake Games. So then he just pledged that he'd start a foundation. So we get to, I say we get to work with all of you on helping with marketing, um, education. We focus on inspiration, education, and registration. So this toolkit is kind of our baby that fulfills um, both education, but then registration. And I'll explain the registration side once we get to that. I'm going to go through our student portal, and then there's also a teacher portal. But what kind of sparked this was I'm a part of the Donate Life Youth Education Committee. And once COVID started, we were all kind of helping each other. What are we going to do? We have no idea what's going on. We still have no idea what's going on. <laughs> And a lot of you are still like, we go into the classroom, our club, no schools are not allowing visitors. So we have to transition to virtual. So we have had this online platform. Um, we've had a curriculum since 2011 and our original curriculum was DVDs and thumb drives that were sent out. And we had no way of tracking um, if people were using them, how many people were using them. So, about three years ago, we decided to put, go completely online. So I'm gonna to shift to sharing my screen. Um, so then I can just start plugging away with this um, while, we, while I talk. But um, please, if you have any questions, um, put it in the chat or we will open it up for discussion after. And I hope this is gonna not take very long. Um, just to show you guys, this is completely free, um, open and available to anyone. So even if you have someone that's interested in teaching at their local church or community group, or um, we work a lot with driver's education classes, um, it's out there. We all, the only thing I ask of you is to use it and any part of it. So while I'm going through this too, kind of think of like, hmm, this whole thing might be difficult to fit into our program, but ooh, that one video is really good. Maybe we could take parts of that or um, um, any little bit that can help you. Um, on our, um, try and move this around a little bit. On our homepage, we have what we do, education, and then toolkit for teachers. And it goes right to our landing page. And then we have two portals. So our first round, we did the student portal. So I'm gonna go into that um, first. But then as we launched the student portal, and you'll understand too, a lot of the teachers and we have a lot of organ donor recipients that go into schools and speak on behalf of um, their local OPO. They're like, I'm going into a gymnasium or an auditorium and I'm presenting uh, a talk. So you go back to 
your original video um, so we can show it to everyone. So that's where the teacher portal came back. Um, it's a longer video and I'll show you that once we go in there, but let's go into the toolkit for students. So, I think when I did this presentation to the committee, this is where we paused as well. <laughs> but let me just show you while I wait for that page to load up, Donor Alliance has their educational resources listed and they just highlight right here, like our friends at the Chris Kluge Foundation have a free interactive curriculum. So if that is an idea of how you can include um, the curriculum within what you already currently have, great. Um, we'd love to send you any links, logos, or how you can connect that. But just wanted to show you how other OPOs have used the curriculum. Okay, so now we are inside of the toolkit. It's a whole course for students. And as you can see, it kind of goes through these sections. And as you get started, um, this is probably the longest video of the whole curriculum. When we started breaking down, our original video was 17 minutes long. And when we started breaking down this online curriculum, we, we were able to go in and um, talk with the whole sophomore year class in high school. And we showed them a bunch of videos and um, they were, it was astonishing what we learned that they, we showed them one video and we're like, These are, this is not our video. We just wanna know, we wanna just want you to critique the crap out of it. We wanna know, is the elevator music boring? Is the length too long? And when um, I asked them how long the video was, they said, oh, we just lost, lost interest. And, it was so long and I said, how long do you think that video was? And I said, no, that was like 18 minutes long. The video was four minutes long. So we made sure that when we broke out these videos, which of course this is not gonna play, but um, it features uh, this NBA player that had a, received a kidney from his brother. He's now a um, NBA announcer. But I also just wanted to prove that we don't only have skiing <laughs> and snowboarding in our in our videos. It kind of touches um, a broader audience. Um, but you watch this quick video, then you go to the quiz. It should take students about 20 minutes to go through this portal. They pick uh, the answers, confirm. It'll just keep going through uh, down this all these questions, quizzes, um, short videos, how organ donation saves lives. And then we really wanted to highlight the facts and not so much the myths. We found out, and I think everybody can kind of agree, that when you talk about fit, fact versus myth, you're just reiterating the myth and they only remember the myth. So we really um, just talk about the facts of organ transplant. So we update this curriculum every year to um, update these numbers. We have um, all this information is from Donate Life America in partnership with Donate Life America. And then um, they just go through the whole curriculum and I don't want to take up your time just going through all the quizzes and such. But once this is completed, they then get a completion certificate that says, congratulations, um, you completed this. I am trying to see if I can get their name inserted into that completion, because I just had someone um, from Oregon ask me, you know, if we are teaching to students virtually, I just want proof that they've completed the program. So I said, well, right now, a easy quick solution would be to just have them send you a screenshot of that certificate. Um, but I'm gonna try and see if I can autofill their name on that certificate so then you can see if 
that student has completed the program or not. Then within that um, certificate, it also has a link to, if they wanna register, they can register with the National Donate Life America Registry. Um, and I know that the National Registry, you have to be 18, so it might be difficult for younger students to donate. Where we have the ability to, I can easily on the back end, and actually let's just go into the back end of this so I can kind of show you what um, that looks like. I can, oh, I have to sign out as, I can um, set up different curriculums. So let's say um, you're Donate Life Northwest and you wanted instead of on that uh, completion certificate to be connected to the national registry, you want it to be connected to your own registry. I can easily um, reconnect or copy your own curriculum, we can partner and I can put in your logos. So it kind of identifies that this is a partnership between Chris Klug Foundation and Donate Life Northwest. And then at the end on that completion, I can set your registration link. Honestly, all we want is for you guys to utilize the toolkit in any way. Um, I get reports on the back end of how many people are utilizing the curriculum and that's all that we really care about so I can share those reports with you if you use it um, we can share how many people are being registered on the back end uh, let me pause from talking really quick so I can get into here um, um, and this, you have to log in um, and I, all this email collection is, is the back end collecting numbers. I do, it does technically, I wanna be transparent with you. It does, it does collect their emails. We do not use their emails. It doesn't go to our newsletter um, database, nothing. I'll never pull an email from this, uh, page. Of course, we're not. Logging in. All right, let me try and restart that. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is the back end of the curriculum. where I can manage content. So if all of the videos that we have are all saved individual, so if there's something in there that you like, um, I can grab and send it to you. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, this is taking so long to load. I have moved from our office into our conference room and the internet is not in my favor. <laughs> so why don't I go into the course for teachers in this back end so you know, see what that looks like. All the course for teachers really is, is the long format video. It's probably now only 12 minutes. Can you believe that 12 minutes is our long format video? Um, but there's the, the link for the video so they can share it. And then we have um, lesson plans and downloadable course materials for teachers that they can use as well. Um, let me show you. The oh, let me go back.
I wanted to show you just the completion certificate and it's very simple. Um, but I know that that was something people were interested in last time. Um, so it's just congratulations, you successfully completed the Chris Kluge Foundation Donor Dudes course. Register here. This is where we would relink your registration if you'd like. Um, get involved in the community. We could highlight anything that you guys are doing. It's really easy to go in and, like I said, update facts, um, maybe put in some kind of upcoming events that you have that you'd want to use. Um, so, really, let me open it up and um, start discussion and see if you guys have any questions. I'd really like to lean on you for um, what you're interested in now that you've kind of seen what the curriculum is. Has this been used or is this brand new? It has been used for the last two years. Is this currently being used? What was that? Yes, it's currently being used. Yep. Okay. A lot of drivers said. What is the feedback from the teachers and the students? Has it been good? I mean, it looks fabulous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't show you some of the videos. Please take um, some time to quickly go through them. But I think um, it is very current um it's very factual it's fun and uplifting i think we kind of get it we come from just a fun we have a fun way of being able to talk about organ donation i think with the connection with the olympics and athletes and um we have feature other like bmx riders um and motocross riders and we just kind of cover a lot of different demographics so um, yes, teachers have loved it. I almost cringe when I find out, I went to North Carolina to um, a driver's ed conference and they all came running up and they're like, we love your DVD. And to be honest with you, it's from 2011. The graphics are horrible. And <laughs> I was like, we have to update this. So it's all updated and it's, um, I hate to use the word evergreen, but I guess it is. We can easily uh, update it, which, we were kind of locked in when we locked in a DVD and a thumb drive, we couldn't update the facts and the numbers. And like, as you all know, you know, the wait list is changing almost weekly. So we're able to change, update that information. Um, so yeah, it is being used. A lot of people love it. And we, and as I said too, it can change. I reached out to the um, Youth Education Committee. I was like, if there's something that just isn't worded right, tell me so we can update it. I love hearing the critiques. I love hearing your impression of it. So um, it's always- then, Sorry, you mentioned the um, content that kind of go in and sort of say, oh, I really like this, we wanna use this. Can we use videos of folks local our local folks like our videos can we incorporate that like yeah. full and then incorporate our yeah. media yeah okay. certainly certainly um yeah like i said it's just and once if you're interested in doing that we i can i don't want to like pull you all in but it's it's super easy to just drop yeah. and load a video if you have it and then also we have a good video uh producing team that if there was just some one snippet of your video that would plug in well of course, of course I want it to be like cohesive so we'd work with you on that definitely sure yeah. and you said this is all free all free just want to use it <laughs> that's There's what nothing free in this world <laughs> I know <laughs> exactly there is one <clears throat> I don't think she this is awesome I will definitely be following up with you Lauren I have two colleagues um I'm in uh, on the eastern part of Florida and there um, in the central part and then over west in Pensacola. Mm -hmm. So I'll be talking with them and talking about this and then we'll probably, I'm hoping that there'll be an agreement that this is something we can utilize because we've been scrambling to figure out what to do with the schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
That's, I think that's what jumped out at me. I don't think she's on here, but there was one Thank you. lady on our youth education committee that was just like, I need to now build everything virtual. And I was like, I have it. <laughs> use it. We have it. Use it. And we can edit it for your use. And just um, all we want to know is how many people are using it. So I hope that... Mm -hmm in this time of uncertainty and we don't know if you're going back hybrid or if you're going fully back and then you get hit with remotely again. This is kind of our answer for um, those teachers that are also looking at for something virtual to do. And then also I have always said, this is kind of a great extra credit or homework activity that students can just go into that student portal and you're not having to watch over them or kind of, um, teach the curriculum. Of course, we want you to follow up with it and such, but it also just highlights all those things that we all um, value in teaching that, you know, please discuss this with your family. That's probably the most important part, not just noting it on your, um, if you're registered or not. So I hope it's kind of your answer to your is anybody, do you know if anyone's using this in like the technical college or university realm with the health sciences? Yeah, um, University of Michigan, there's a professor there that uses it. Um, New Jersey, we put it out to, I think, uh, the state of New York in 2016 made organ donation a mandatory curriculum. We reached out to the Department of Education there. Um, and then Michigan followed suit as well. So it's out and available. Um, and then just reaching out to all of you that um, I just want you to know that it's there. And we're here for you. So. Um, you made me a happy camper today for sure. <laughs> Does anyone else have any other questions? Um, we have been recording this and I will follow up. Please email me um, with any other questions as well, just so I can put those out in our response email. Um, I'll be sending out the link of this uh, recording. And then also if you would like just one-on-one -on -one time going through the curriculum, um, I'm happy to schedule something. Gina, no, I just want to read everybody you know I just want to reiterate in case people are super overwhelmed I feel like I don't know about you guys but this week is like a week where I'm really feeling the bit of just like it's just relentless and I have no energy and I just feel tired and defeated and now we have another school year coming up and no one knows what's going on so maybe this first semester isn't your time to like and now I'll do this curse cloak thing maybe this is a longer term plan for second semester or mid first semester where you can team up with Lauren and create, oh, hi, Robin, for real. Like I'm shotgunning getting M&Ms all the time. Sorry, she said in the chat, she feels the same way. I like being validated. <laughs> anyway, um, what I see is just like us teaming up with Lauren in different capacities to maybe the landing page would say like Life Center plus Chris Klug, because I know a lot of our organizations want that branding out there to be like, we want our organization to be doing something, but this is your thing. And if, and she has completely made it clear to all of us that she is willing to do that. And as Leslie mentioned, putting our own videos into this content, there's no reason why every single one of us has to recreate this thing and have one for our own organization. The really awesome thing that Lauren is doing is that she is offering it up for you to use in conjunction with what you're doing. Donor Alliance has a link on their page to the Chris Klug Foundation. They can track those clicks. So everybody in their organizations has to track, 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 track. What's going on? How many clicks? How many hits? How many people? We can do that. Like this is what this is for. And Lauren's already paid for it. So take it and run with it. <laughs> Um, Just to be even even more yeah. transparent, um, it took us uh -oh. about a year to build mm -hmm. this. We are super small, so I don't have to go through much many loops. But it was it was over twenty five thousand dollars to build this and produce it and everything. Just so if you're um, looking for just kind of like a timeline or budget of 
what it would look like to build your own. And of course I would love to help advise you, but um, that was what it took for us to build this. Um, and like I said, it's always changing, which was a major goal, but really I think especially finishing up 2020 and going into 2021, this is just another tool to put in your toolbox. Just like um, Donor Alliance, they have all of their curriculums, but then there's our cur curriculum because they reach out mainly to um, science classes where we directed this and produced this in the minds of physical fitness classes and health, health classrooms. So it might just help broaden your reach uh, beyond if you guys are all reaching out to science classes. Right. And the partner here isn't just the resource. The partner is also you. Like you want to help all of us succeed. And so mm -hmm. when you guys are sitting in your meetings with your managers, get out your laptop and open it up and show them the Chris Klug resources and be like, this was $25,000 to do of us doing that, we can team up with them and send people to this page and they are going to work with us to put our branding there and to track these things so we can track how many people in our area are getting this education. It's a pretty big no-brainer for those of us that are trying to scramble with what are we going to do? Um, and for me, it's just doing Zoom calls with students and talking to them that way, but this is so much more interactive. And it's going to help those teachers that need to have things for their students to do on their own instead of a Zoom call. So it's really great. Does anybody else have any questions? This is, this is very typical for our friends, Lauren. We like to be very quiet, but um, I encourage you guys to ask questions. Oh, Marty's typing. Marty's in the chat. She says, thanks for sharing. This year, many of us are developing and looking or looking for existing resources to share. When Marty says something's awesome and she says thanks, that's like, <laughs> she is like top brass veteran. So that's a big deal. Cool. Anybody else? Lauren, this is Sarah from Soda. Hey. I wanted to see if OPOs ever use your um, online curriculum as part of a training program. So a little bit less student facing, but more for volunteers. Maybe that's not a use case that you run into yet. I have never heard of that, but I don't see why they they could definitely and like um i don't know if you saw in that back end i had a, t a teacher portal a student portal and then we just had a quiz because right in the beginning of covid we're like everyone's just online like let's just why are we marketing right to teachers let's make it a quiz so we put it out on social media as just test your knowledge on organ donation and we were rewarded um, with a giveaway so that's how i just copied the student portal and just kind of reworded it so it was just more of a general quiz so if um i don't see why why they why they couldn't mm -hmm. that's a good idea yeah. awesome i think the curriculum looks awesome thanks so much for taking the time to share it with everyone thanks cool all right why don't we wrap up? If anybody has any questions, please email me and I will be following up with the recording. But everybody have a great day and rest of the week. Thank you Thanks so, much. so much for sharing. Oh, we got thumbs up and people getting off camera. You guys are great. Yay. <laughs> Hang in there, everybody. We're doing great. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Thanks.